thousands of years ago in ancient India lived the mighty king Dasharatha, who was blessed with four sons, Rama, Bharata, Lakshmana and Shatrughna. Prince Rama, the eldest, was the king's favourite. He was always accompanied by his younger brother, Prince Lakshmana. They were inseparable. A neighbouring king, Janaka, invited kings and princes from across the land to a contest to win the hand of his beautiful daughter, Princess Sita. When Sita and Rama saw each other, they instantly fell in love. To win Sita's hand, they had to lift the mighty bow of Lord Shiva. A young Sita had once playfully lifted the mighty bow to the astonishment of everyone in the palace. One after the other, the kings and princes tried their luck. The ten-headed demon king, Ravana, took his turn. No one, not even the mighty demon king, Ravana, could lift the bow an inch. Ravana was furious, <laughs> promising that one day Sita would be his. With divine poise, Rama lifted the mighty bow effortlessly. Rama and Sita were married amidst great rejoicing. As King Dasharatha grew old, he wished to crown Rama as his heir. But his youngest queen, Kaikei, had other plans. She demanded that her son, Bharata, be crowned king. Even worse, she demanded that Rama, son of the eldest queen, Kushalya, be banished to the forest for 14 years. 
Sita and Rama left for the forest. Lakshmana insisted on going with them. Soon after, the heartbroken King Dasharatha died. forest one day, a maiden came by the hut. When she saw Rama and Lakshmana, she was captivated. She wanted to marry Rama, but he refused, saying he was already married to Sita. Then she wanted to marry Lakshmana, but he refused too, saying he was there to protect Sita. The maiden rushed to attack Sita. Forced to draw his sword, Lakshmana struck the maiden and cut off her nose. She was transformed back into her true self, the demoness Shulpanaka, sister of the mighty demon king Ravana. <laughs> When Ravana saw his injured sister, he was enraged. He disguised himself as a kindly sage. When Sita was alone, he went to the hut asking for food. Namaste, Bhikshandehi, Bhikshandehi. Bhikshandehi. As soon as Sita stepped outside the protection of the hut, <laughs> The sage turned into the ten-headed demon king, Ravana. Ravana abducted Sita and carried her away to his kingdom on the island of Lanka. Rama and Lakshmana went in search of Sita, hacking their way through the tangled forest. Along the way, they met Hanuman, son of Vayu, god of the wind. With his help and the monkey army, Rama, Lakshmana and Hanuman marched to Lanka. So began the war between the two greatest warriors on earth, Rama and Ravana. One of Ravana's poisoned arrows struck Lakshmana in the chest. He fell unconscious. Hanuman flew to the Himalayas. and brought back the only flower that could save Lakshmana's life.
Rama was overjoyed. The next day, Rama and Ravana faced each other. The battle between the two greatest warriors on earth was long and fierce. Rama invoked the most powerful weapon in the universe, the Brahmastra. The celestial weapon struck Ravana with such enormous force that he was killed instantly. Rama declared to his army, show respect to the fallen king Ravana. The war was over. Rama and Sita were reunited. Their joy knew no bounds. Soon they returned to Ayodhya and were crowned king and queen of Kosala. Diwali with lamps, fireworks and sweets to mark the return of Rama and Sita to Ayodhya, symbolizing the triumph of good over evil. <laughs> 